welcome. We're going to be making our pizza. First, you will need some whole wheat bread. This is one per serving size, which is 50 calories. Next, you'll need some tomato basil pasta sauce, which is 40 calories per serving size. Then you will need a piece of basil, which is one calorie that you put on one per serving size. You will also need mozzarella cheese, which is 90 calories per, per one-fourth cup serving size. To make our delicious pizza, we're going to start off with putting tin foil on our pan. Second, we're going to put our bread slices on the pan. Next, Shannon's going to take the tomato sauce and put it on each piece of bread. This is one serving size, but we are making four today, so this is one, two, three, four. Now Shannon's putting approximately one-fourth cup of our sauce onto each piece of bread. Preheat the oven to 360 degrees. Now the oven is preheated to 360 and we put the pizza in. This is ready to eat after it cools down. Okay, so we're the next thing we're going to be making is called bok choy stir fry, and we're going to be making about three serving sizes per what we're making. So in it, the ingredients you're going to need is about a box of tofu and it's 100 calories. Yeah, it's 100 calories. We're going to be using two tablespoons of soy sauce and it's 20 calories. And we're going to use sunflower seed oil, um, 120 calories with um, one tablespoon. So exactly. We're going to be using a little bit of ginger, and we're about using about a little bit of this, and it is going to be about a one and a half calories. Um, we're going to be using about half of this onion, and that will be 20 calories. And we'll be using the bok choy cabbage, which is 20 calories. And we're going to be cup. per cup, and we're probably going to be using about three cups of this. Alright, so now we're going to cut up our ingredients for the stir fry. So you have to, dr first you have to drain and wash, or wash the bok choy cabbage, and then you're going to want to drain out the um, tofu, and then we're going to cut up the ingredients as so. Okay, so now the burner is on high, and you're going to need a wok and set it on the burner and a stirring spoon. Alright, we're going to start by putting um, our oil in the wok, and we're going to sort of spread it out throughout the whole thing. Then we're going to take 
our ginger and we're going to dump it into the pan. Now we're going to put our onions in the pan. And we're going to stir it up a little bit. Now we're going to take all of our tofu and we're going to slowly in bits put it in the wok. We're going to stir it up a little bit. The next step is to take the bok choy cabbage, all cut up, and put it in your wok. You're going to make sure that you're mixing the ingredients around to perfect the cooking. Keep on mixing. Now you're going to add your soy sauce throughout the pan. This is going to add a lot of flavor to your um, stir fry. You want to keep on mixing to ensure that everything is mixed together and delicious. And this is the finished product. Now this will only take you about five minutes at the most to cook. So these are the um, finished products of our recipes. The pizza would be a good option for maybe an after school snack or an appetizer. Which only took us eight minutes. Which is pretty cool. But the um, stir fry would be a, maybe a better option for a dinner that's definitely healthy. And you can eat it with um, a pita bread if you choose. But it tastes very good plain by itself. And we it didn't take very long at all to make the stir fry as well. We, we want food. We want food. Ooh, mommy, mommy. Mm, it's not cut. Even Superman wants food.